uh, uh, you know, meddling in the private sector. If, if you could tell me right now that when I walked into this office that the banks were humming, the auto, autos were selling, and that all you had to worry about was Iraq, Afghanistan, North Korea, uh, getting health care passed, figuring out how to uh, deal with energy independence, deal with Iran, and a pandemic flu, I would take that deal. <laughs> Uh, and, 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 and that's why I'm always amused when I hear these, you know, criticisms of, oh, you know, Obama wants to grow government. No! I would love a nice, lean uh, portfolio to deal with. But that's not the hand that's been dealt us. And, uh, uh, you know, every generation uh, has to uh, rise up to the specific challenges that confront them. We happen to have gotten uh, a big set of challenges, but we're not the first generation that that's happened to, and I'm confident that we are going to meet these challenges just like our grandparents and uh, forebears met them before. All right. Thank you, everybody. Saying there will be no closing of the border with Mexico out of concerns about the H1N1 virus or swine flu, saying he's been told by his health advisors that that would be akin to the proverbial closing of the barn door after the horse is gone, saying he has in fact read the still classified documents former Vice President Cheney claims proves torture saved lives and that that isn't the point. The point is the information might have been gotten by other means and did the entire process make us safer? saying he feels the state secrets provisions used by his attorneys in defense of some of Mr. Bush's cases are overbroad. President Obama concludes his third formal news conference on this the evening of his 100th day in office.